just kind of a funny slide on on the unhealthy balance of the physical part of the game versus the mental part of the game. And and when, when you know, obviously as as regional managers when we travel around rinks, there's such an emphasis on skating, stick handling, shooting, the speed of a player, the size of a player. You know, even you think about the goaltending position, their ability to get post to post, all that physical stuff. And talk about what allowed you to become a Hall of Famer when a lot of people didn't believe in you early on, um, and and why why you think the mental part of the game is so so critical. Well, I mean, to me, the mental part of the game, there's so many layers of it. Obviously, you know, when you think about the mental part of the game, for me, I think about hockey IQ, but I also think about mental toughness and going through adversity. Um, and I think those are two things that that probably lack at the youth level. Uh, and I'll give you the one part, the mental toughness a little bit is, you know, and I've been part of, I've been coaching my kids for, you know, five, six years now since I retired. And I know for a fact, and I'm guilty of that too sometime, and I have to reel myself in. In general, parents don't like to see their kids struggle. You know, they, you know, they, they want them to be good now. And, you know, and I think it's important uh, that they go through some struggle because I truly believe that for me, struggle is step one of growth. If a kid does not struggle, it's really hard to grow. Yeah, they might not struggle for a long time, uh, but then because they have physical attributes, but then it gets to a certain point where all that gets evened out and now they start struggling and they can't you know, fight their way through that because they never had to experience that. So, you know, um, most dominant players at a young age are the kids that are more physically de developed or they probably have had more touches on the ice where they're better skaters and they do privates and this and that. And, you know, they'll go around cones like, you know, like the best of them, but <clears throat> they get to a certain age where they never had to solve a problem. You know, they never had conflict. It's always skating themselves through uh, any conflict. They never learned to, you know, uh, know where their buddies are on the ice and know where really the opponents is on the ice. Because to me, it's all about, uh, you know, constantly taking pictures uh, on the ice of where my guys are, where the opponents are. You know, I, I relate to hockey as a big math problem and the equation changes constantly. And